Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to share with you another technique in factoring a quadratic trinomial ax squared plus bx plus c. And this technique is called box method. Let's get started. Suppose we want to factor this uh, trinomial here, 6x squared minus uh, 13x plus 5. So first, we fill in this uh, diagonal of uh, this box here using this ax squared and then the constant term 5. Okay, so we put the 6x squared here and then the constant term here. Now, for this diagonal here, we want to split this middle term. And how do we split this middle term here? So we're going to find the two numbers, let's say m and then n. Of course, here, since we have to split that negative 13x, so we have here x and then x, where the sum of m and n must be equal to negative 13, which is, of course, equal to b, if it is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. Now, what is an additional condition that must be satisfied by this m and n? Their product should be equal to a times c. So what is our a times c here? a times c is equal to, this is our a, the coefficient of x squared, and our c is just the constant term, so it's positive 5. So 6 times 5 is equal to 30. So this means we have to think of uh, factors of 30 whose sum is equal to the coefficient of your middle term. In this case, it's equal to negative 13. So what are the factors of 30 whose sum is negative 13? Since the sum is negative and the product is positive, the two numbers must be both negative numbers. So what are these two factors? They are negative 10 and negative 3. So the sum is equal to negative 13 and the product is equal to 30. Let's now replace our m and n here. So our m is equal to negative 10 and our n is equal to negative 3. So actually, the order of these two is not important. So you'll notice here that the sum of these four terms here is actually equal to your trinomial. So now, how do we find the factors of this trinomial? So we're going to find the greatest common factor from each row and from each column. So here, what is the greatest common factor in this row? We have 3x. Now, what is the GCF in this row? The GCF here is equal to 5, but instead of just writing 5, we have to follow the sign of the term next to the GCF. So since this is negative, we need to put negative to the GCF, which is equal to 5. Again, the sign of the GCF must be the same as the term next to it. So as you can see here, instead of writing negative 3x, we have to write a positive 3x because the sign of this is positive. And now let's find the greatest common factor of this column here. So the greatest common factor is equal to 2x. And it should be positive because again, this is positive. And now what is the greatest common factor of this one? It is only 1. But again, we have to follow the sign of this term. So we have to put negative sign here. And from here, we can already determine the factors of this uh, trinomial. And they are 3x minus 5 and 2x minus 1. So therefore, we can write this trinomial as 3x minus 5 and then times uh, 2x minus 1. And you can check by FOIL method that this is the correct factorization. So we have here 6x squared. And then the sum of the smiles, so you have there negative 3x minus 10x, so that is negative 13x. And negative 5 times negative 1, it is equal to positive 5. Now, let me warn you that when you use this method, you need to make sure that the value of a is positive. So how about when a is negative? So we only need to add one more step in that case, and I'm going to show that in our third example. Let's now move to our second example. Suppose we want to factor this trinomial 8x squared plus 2x minus 15. So again, first step, we fill in this diagonal here. We have the 8x squared and then negative 15. 
Now we think of uh, two factors of a times c, which is equal to 8 uh, times uh, negative 15. So this is equal to negative 120. So we need uh, to find uh, two factors of this uh, whose sum is equal to b. So we need to factor this one. So we need to find that uh, m and n whose sum is equal to b. And our b in this case, the coefficient of x that is equal to 2. And here, this other diagonal will contain m times x and then n times x. Now, what are the two factors of negative 120 whose sum is uh, positive 2? Since the product is negative, we know that uh, one of them is positive and one of them is negative. And it seems they are not hard to find. The factors are positive 12 and negative 10. So the product of these two numbers is negative 120 and their sum is positive 2. So we can now replace this m and n here. So we have 12x and negative 10x. Now we look for the greatest common factor of each row and each column. And following the sign of the term next to it, so the greatest common factor of this row is 2x. And it should be positive because 8x squared is positive. Now for this row, the greatest common factor is positive 3. Again, it is positive because this term next to it is positive. Now let's go to the column. So what is the greatest common factor in this first column? It is equal to 4x. And it's positive because this is positive. And now in the second column, the greatest common factor is negative 5. And why is it negative? Because this term next to it is negative. So now, what are the factors of our trinomial? It is just 2x plus 3 and 4x minus 5. And again, we can check that this is indeed the correct factorization using FOIL method. A good thing about this Bax method, it seems that these expressions here represent lengths. So in this case, it seems that this is the length of this side here, which is 2x plus 3, and this the length of this side here is 4x minus 5. And when we multiply them, we'll get the area of this rectangle here. But it looks like a square, but I think of it as a rectangle. And the area is equal to this one, which is actually the sum of these areas here. So this really makes sense when all these terms here are positive. And all these products here will be positive, and we can think of them as just areas. But of course, note that this Bax method can be used even if we have negative signs here. Now, let us consider the case where A is negative. Do you think our method also works for this case? Let's see. So if we apply our technique, so we write down the negative 3x squared here, and then minus 8. And then we multiply A and C. So we have here AC, which is equal to positive 24. So negative 3 times negative 8. And then we find factors of this whose sum is equal to positive 10. So what are those factors? They are positive 6 and positive 4. Therefore, we can write in this other diagonal 6x, which is our mx, and then 4x, which is our nx. And if we find the GCF in each row and each column, we'll get in the first row we have negative x negative because again this is negative in the second row we'll get positive 2 because again 6x is positive and in the first column we'll get here negative 3x because again negative 3x squared is negative and then we have here positive 4 because 4x is positive now do you think the factors of this trinomial here are negative x plus 2 and negative 3x plus 4 the answer is no. Why? It is clear that the product of the first terms here is equal to 3x squared, which is not equal to negative 3x squared. So this is the reason that I told you earlier that you can use our method only when A is positive. So what are we going to do if A is negative? We just need to add one step in this case. And that step is first to factor 
the negative sign. So we write our trinomial as negative of the quantity 3x squared minus 10x and then plus 8. And this is where we apply our box method. Because now the coefficient of x squared is positive. So if we're going to apply box method in that uh, trinomial, so here we're going to write down 3x squared and then positive 8. And again, we have the same AC in this case. So 3 times positive 8, so that is equal to 24. And we need to think of uh, two factors of that whose sum is equal to negative 10. So this becomes negative 10. So what are those uh, factors? So both must be negative. In this case, negative 4 and negative 6. So we have here negative 6x and negative 4x. And we'll get here a GCFx and then a GCF negative 2. And in the columns, we have 3x. And in the second column, we have negative 4. So our trinomial can be factored to we have here negative of x minus 2 times the quantity 3x minus 4. And this is the correct factorization of this uh, trinomial. Okay, this is the end of this video. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.